One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a great password. It's one that you can remember. The problem with that is, is that the bad guys, you know, those hackers and spammers that are trying to get into your account, that's probably one of the first passwords that they use to try to break into your account. So how does one come up with a secure password? Well, I'm glad you asked because on today's tips for staying safe online, I'm gonna give you a few suggestions on passwords not to use and also give you some suggestions on how to come up with a secure password. Hey everyone, it's Audrey with socialmediaforbeginners.com and I want to first talk to you about the passwords that you should never use. If these are passwords that you are currently using, then you definitely want to stay tuned to find out how you can create secure passwords for your accounts online. Number one, never use the strands of numbers like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero, 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 seven, 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 seven. You don't want to use any of those strands of number. Number two, you don't want to use your birthday. Number three, no anniversaries of any kind, even of weddings or anniversaries of deaths. Number four, don't use your social security number. Crazy thing is, people use their social security number. Number five, your pet's names. Don't use those. Number six, don't use your physical address. People actually use their physical address as well. Number seven, don't use names, places, or as crazy as it sounds, dictionary words, words that you find in the dictionary. Number eight, don't use less than eight characters. As a matter of fact, your password should be at least 12 characters long. So now you know what not to use for your passwords. Let's talk about the three things that I actually use for secure passwords. Now it used to be that you could take like numbers and turn them into use characters for them. So for example, if I was putting a one or an I in my password, I would actually use an exclamation point. Or if I was using the letter S, I would use the dollar sign. Or an A, I would use the at sign. But the hackers have gotten pretty darn smart and they know that a lot of people were doing that. So even though I might use some of those in my password, um, I don't rely on that method like I used to in the past. So the number one method that I use, I actually have to put on my memory cap, but I actually, you can have fun with this. And so you wanna come up with 12 random words out of nowhere and you're just gonna put them all together, but you remember those words. So for example, let's say that my password was baby, toilet, bridge, car, valentine, paper, owl, orange, seven C's. And I put them all together. That is 10 random words that are not in a book that I have no idea and a hacker is, it's gonna take him forever to try to find, figure out these random words, okay? So you can have fun with that and kind of visualize different things and that's exactly what I did. I visualized a baby growing up and finally using the toilet. <laughs> I used Valentine for Valentine's Day. They have paper. You always see paper, you know, with a Valentine. An owl, I have an owl that is staring at me and it's an orange owl. So just have fun with that, but just random words. The second thing that I use is I take a sentence and I make an acronym out of it but then I use the lower and uppercase symbols along with those characters I was talking about. So for example, one of my favorite quotes, and I do not use this as a password, just let me tell you that, <laughs> life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. And so for that password, what I would do is I would make it look like this. 
And so you see, I have an uppercase L, an exclamation, an uppercase A, a lowercase W, an uppercase F, and you can see all of it. But then at the end, I just gave it a, just an extra few more characters and I did 007. Okay, so that is a pretty intense password right there using acronyms of my favorite quote. Now the third one is one that is pretty um, easy because you just head over to the Norton Identity Safe Password Generator and I'll put a link of that in the description below. You'll just head over there and it actually just ask you for, you know, what's the password length? It's gonna ask you, do you wanna include letters, mixed cases, numbers, punctuation? Um, do, you, do you want it to have no similar characters? And then you can ask it to do like up to, it looks like you can do up to 50 passwords. So it will generate 50 different passwords for you. And then you can just kind of look at the ones that you feel that you're gonna be able to remember, okay? So that's the third way that you can do that. So I am sure that there is plenty of other ways that you can go ahead and do a secure password, but I just wanted to throw at least three of them out there for you. Another thing is that you do not want to use the same password on every, on all of your accounts. And that is something I have actually been very guilty of. But in researching this, I have gone in and I am changing all of my passwords to different passwords. So I hope that this tip helped you and that, um, and always, as always, if you're in your home and you're the only one around your computer, um, write down your passwords. I mean, write them down in a safe place. Um, but if you are sharing your computer, if you're in a workplace, obviously you don't want that available for everybody. There's also online places that you can store all of your passwords. Um, but I'll probably have to do that in a whole nother video and um, kind of walk you through that. Anyway, I hope that this helped you. And if you have any comments or suggestions, or if you have a way that you, um, you know, pick secure passwords, share them in the comment section below because all of us, with all of the places getting hacked, we all need to help one another and so that we can all have secure passwords. So anyway, you guys have a blessed day and uh, I'll talk to you next week. Bye. If this video helped you in any way, why not like it, comment, and share it. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't ever miss these free tutorials and tips on how to stay safe online. Oh, and don't forget to check out our Napoleon's Idiot series, where I teach dad all about the social media networks. Until next time, y'all be blessed.